This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. You went to, to prison. What was your first thing that you were planning on doing? Escaping. <laughs> <laughs> you get to working in a prison factory where they have tools. Right. And, of course, now, you know, I'm, I'm never allowed to have a job like that anymore. I can't be around tools. One point in Virginia, I was going to use an 18-wheeler to go through some fences, but one of the people involved, and you have weird situations with guys in prison with sentences. They love to talk. But when it was time for them to actually put their heart where their mouth was and take action, they weren't willing to do it. Like one guy had 180 years for robbing a bunch of uh, truck stops. Years later, it comes out that he promised his mom he would never try to run. And I thought, my God, your mom ain't got to do that 180 years. Yeah. And another guy, he was a former correctional officer, and nobody knew it. He got himself into a scheme. He was going to be involved with the truck deal, and then he dropped a secret note telling on it to where the truck never came in again. So he was scared that, that it would succeed, and on the run, we would find out what his former profession was and do something to him. Which, of course, his stinking was warped. Nobody would have cared about that at that point. What was the closest you ever came to actually managing to do it? I was a week away in Virginia when I got told on. Yeah, right. And then it's straight to lock up. Yeah. And I got locked down for three more years and was getting moved to a different cell every nine days. Quite an interesting experience. I got put in full point sometimes, which is restraints where your legs are spread eagled on the bottom of a bunk and your hands are spread uh, on the top, handcuffed to four corners. Kind of like being on a, a... a wooden stake being executed or something. And they they come and they unhandcuff you every so many hours so you can take a piss or use the bathroom or something. Of course, sometimes I would just arch my body sideways and contort myself enough to where I could plop myself out and just piss all over the floor so they would have to clean it up when it came in and I would laugh at them. But they didn't appreciate that very much, but... They <laughs> A little win for you. What was the plan to get out? Uh, I had uh, I worked in a shoe factory, and the maintenance guy was in on it with me, and I actually had a hacksaw blade sent in through the mail, of all things. Wow. And whenever it got worn out, I had it traded out with him and the maintenance for a brand new one, and in the daytime, I would be cutting the window bars while he was working over there, and in the evenings, uh, I would go to work as a, uh, a line supervisor.